Well, my friends, for those of you who like videos with just a little bit of something different in them, here's one of those right after this. Well, I think you can see I've got my brush hog up in the air and it's supported by my winch um, with uh, these straps. The straps are very strong. I'm not too worried about them breaking or anything. And, uh, you know, the cable could snap, so I don't get under it. What I did was I took a cutting torch. I cut the back skirt off of here because it was very badly uh, misformed. In fact, I've already straightened this out a lot. This was even worse than it looks. Now my question is, how do I fill that back in? And I'm not gonna use that junk, because it is pretty much junk at this point. And I may have to cut some more away, all of that. There's a lot more to it yet. But right now, I'll show you how I'm gonna fill that in. You see that big piece of steel right there? Well, that piece of steel is almost twice as thick as what came off of there. This is a full quarter inch thick. And this other steel is barely an eighth inch if it's that thick. So this is much thicker. But the question is, how am I going to bend this heavy, thick stuff? And the answer is, I don't know. I'm going to start by putting 215 pounds on it right here. And that almost does nothing, as you can see. It's very strong steel. So if I jump up and down, will that do anything? Not much. Did that bend it at all? No, not at all. <laughs> I, I really thought that would do it. I really did. Okay, well that tells me something. This is some stout steel. Wow. Much stouter than I even thought. <laughs> oh my gosh, I may have to rethink this. I'm a little bit afraid to jump on it. I'm afraid I'm going to spin it out from under me. Uh, that bent it a little tiny bit, but only a tiny bit. Well, you can possibly see there's not much bend there. <laughs> a little bit, but not much. This is some heavy stuff. Guess I'm going to have to go to the big guns. Well, my friends, this might not end well. I'm over at my, uh, actually right now it's a 20 ton hydraulic press. When I originally built it, I had a 30 ton jack on this, but I was able to buy one of those air jacks, which is really cool, but I could, you know, from Harbor Freight, but I could get it in 20 tons. So, you know, that's fine. 20 tons is a lot of force. So anyway, I have a 20 ton air driven jack on here. I have the piece of steel supported by two blocks. I have it at a caddy corner going through here because the, the press isn't wide enough to put it straight through. That would be better if I could do that, but at the moment I haven't thought of a good way to do that other than support the ends with some posts or something, but then I'd need help because I can't do that by myself. Like I said, this might not work. This may flip these blocks out of here. All I know is I gotta try it. Um, I'm going to stand on my little, my, when I stand on this trigger down here, it, it starts the jack on its way down. Well, of course, the air compressor had to kick on, so I let this sit here for the five minutes it took the air compressor to fill back up so you could hear me. But I've put enough pressure on there where it looks like it's bending to me, so I'm going to back that off and see what that did, if anything. Yep, that did put a bend in it. Okay, well, let's, I've, got, I've got it marked at every three inches after that. I don't know why I picked three inches. I just did, you know? And let's see if that works. I don't know, here we go. It might flip it out of there now because of being off centered even more. You never know. It's 
I tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some gloves and obviously I should have safety glasses on. I'm going to get those too. Well, that looks like it's doing a good job. I don't know. Well, looks can be deceiving sometimes. I don't care if I get too much bend in it because I can. I think I can straighten it out easier than I can bend it. Well, there you go. That's what I was afraid of. It's, it just doesn't want to cooperate. Especially when you start getting it off center a little bit. Okay, well now I'm going to have to reposition it and go the other direction. Do I think it's far enough that direction? Probably not. I'll probably have to go further on each end, but right now I'm just trying to see what I'm doing. I mean, I'm just guessing. I really am. I don't really know what I'm doing here. This is kind of my first time trying this. I love this air operated jack. It is so awesome. The more curve it gets, the harder it is to move this. I don't know why that is exactly, but... I guess I'm going to take it down now and see how that uh, looks over there and see where I need to bend more and where I need to bend less. At least it's working. Okay, it was bent too much, so I just laid it down like this and jumped on it a couple times. That straightened it right out, no problem. But the ends have to be curled, so the ends are not done yet. We'll have to do those now. I think the ends are going to be harder than the rest. Oh, stepped on the trigger, didn't realize it. <laughs> that scared me. Yeah, the ends are going to be the hard part. Uh... Well, I really don't know about the ends here. Just, just guessing at about three inches on that. Get one more out of it would be great. Don't know if I can or not. Kind of awkward. Well, I got to within about six inches of the ends. I'm going to go see what this looks like before I go any further. Well, there's how she turned out. I didn't film all the detail, but I got her in place, bent, and welded a bunch of places. And uh, it's reinforced pretty well. I think it's uh, way stronger than it's ever been. So I'm happy with that. Now we're going to put it back on the Bobcat and go cut some trails. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing how I repaired the back end of that uh, brush hog where that skirt had just been ripped off. It was pretty bad shape. And that steel I put on there is incredibly heavy. And it stands up to the test because I took it out after that and I brush hogged for a couple hours straight and just hit one stump after another and rock after another. And that skirt stood the test. So I think it's going to be just fine. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Bleh, bleh.